News at 6 starts now. Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. Some North Shore homeowners are breathing a sigh of relief. Their home surviving another summer, but the winter surf isn't coming fast enough. Nikki Schenfeld explains. Just a few months ago, there was an entire football field of sand and beach right behind me. Two to three weeks ago, you could walk easily in front of these homes at Pupukea next to Ehukai. Today, it's about a 10-foot drop-off, and these homes are being threatened once again. This was the beach in front of Richard Sturman's home in late February. 125 paces from the bottom of that step to the water's edge. Fast forward to this weekend. We've diminished to three feet, from 360 feet to three feet. Scientists and experts have been studying the trends for years. Powerful winter swells from the west or northwest hit the beach, and in the summer, small northeast trade swells push sand west towards Waimea. But a series of hurricane swells in 2018 put Sturman's home and his neighbors on the edge, literally. It was the worst erosion they'd ever seen. Some homeowners worked with the Department of Land and Natural Resources and added temporary measures to save their property. And the following summer, the DLNR authorized sand pushing to provide a buffer heading into the winter. The homes were fine in 2019 and 2020. Sturman's neighbor, who has lived at Pupukea since 1957, says prior to 2018, the last time the erosion was that bad was the late 50s. And just a half mile down the road, the situation is critical. Randy Moore says there was an additional 45 feet of sand in front of his property at Cammie's when he bought it in 1969. Four or five years ago, there started being a significantly a greater erosion in a single episode. You could lose 15 or 20 feet in a matter of, of a day. Experts say the erosion is getting worse and the sand isn't recovering. The erosion, when it does occur, it chews a little bit more landward than it did the year before. He says sand pushing and burrito bags are just putting a Band-Aid on a bigger issue. And foot traffic is also playing a role. You know, decadal scale events that might occur every 20 or 30 years now appear to be occurring every five years. And it feels like in certain places, like Cami's and uh, Laniakea in particular, that it, it happens on a seasonal basis now where it's getting very close to the homes. Thousands of people stop at Laniakea every week and the sand there and at Papailoa is also disappearing. And unfortunately, we have such a high volume of people uh, walking down the beach, particularly in concentrated you know, beach right of ways. The, the waves don't have time to put the sand back up where it would naturally exist. Some homeowners believe their homes should be saved and are the last lines of defense before the ocean reaches the highway. Others argue the sandy beach shouldn't be threatened by seawalls and other measures and should be around for the public to enjoy. The North Shore Sustainable Communities Plan is being updated. Eversol and others are looking into the shoreline issue and preliminary results could come as soon as early 2022. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you.